goofy historians is the funnest place to learn about history? Or is it the funniest? Can I uh, interview you? Or you? Or uh, you? Or you? Or maybe you guys. How about you? The after the Borgia, um, there was a pope called Julius, right? And well, there was one before him who, you know, after the Borgia, they decided to say, oh no, we, 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 want, we want a strict, you know, a, a spiritual leader, right? And that didn't work out. They ended up killing him and they brought um, Julius in, right? And Julius is the one we want to talk about because Julius is, I mean, before I started reading and studying this recently, I thought Julius was, I, I liked the Borgia better than I liked Julius because the Borgia were at least liberal, you know, they were like fun, they were, they were into the Renaissance. Um, you know, he openly, the Borgia, for example, openly lived with his, 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 his wife in the Vatican and they had like little kids running around the Vatican. And uh, uh, so, you know, there is, you know, which I think, I think that's a better image. I would like to have the Pope be married with kids, little kids running around and stuff. But, you know, and pets, you know, you should, Pope should be allowed to have pets. They can't have pets for God's sake. Why would, what a stupid rule. Anyways, Julius comes along, and that's what we're going to start with. Julius is the one who's, who is, they call him the warrior pope, right? Because he had no illusions about being a saintly person. He was the pope with a sword. He was the last pope that went at the head of an army, right, several times and victoriously, right? He, he led victorious armies. First, to take back the papal states that they had lost while the popes were in France, right? He had to get those back in line, right? And they just go, oh, the pope's here. We're going to go back and, you know, be, be with the pope. No, they were all going, no, well, you've been gone for like 100 years. Who the heck are you, right? We don't know who you are. And the pope says, well, no, these are the papal lands. You have to be, you know, pay homage to me just as you would to uh, a worldly lord, right? Um so that was that. So he had to go into art, but we're going to talk about all that when we talk about Julius, right? Goofy Historians is the funnest place to learn about history. Or is it the funniest? Does history repeat itself? Eh, not really. But sometimes it kind of rhymes.